Three of Auckland's six orangutans are in the final stages of preparation to begin the journey of a lifetime. Maju, Isim and Gangsa are about to fly to Los Angeles as part of an international breeding program to save the Bornean orangutan. They're an endangered species due to deforestation and palm oil plantations. Maju, who turns 10 next week, is destined for big things. He just doesn't know it yet. He's heading to Florida to meet with Luna, an 18-year-old, where it's hoped love will blossom. It's a, a nice coincidence that our, our orangutans have very, very good genes, so they're quite genetically valuable, and as soon as they get to the States, they'll move right to the top of the gene pool there, so they'll be really um, really well used for, for breeding over there, and Eastman and Gangsa will go straight into a breeding situation. The orangutans weren't in the mood to speak to media today. Instead, they sent their spokesperson, Amy Robbins. She's the primate team leader at Auckland Zoo and has been working with Maju since he was born. We do think that they know something's up. Um, when you work with orangutans, you start to think that they can read minds because they know stuff before you even get in there and they, they, can, they read off you. Um, so it only needs to be a very subtle change in body language or behaviour for them to kind of go, hang on, what are you trying to do here? I'm not going to cooperate. The orangutans will be transported in these specially made crates, kind of a primate first class, you could call it, with enough room to stretch out for the 12-hour journey. They'll be held in quarantine in Los Angeles before continuing to Tampa in Florida. Zookeepers from both Auckland Zoo and their new home in Florida will travel with them, making sure they have familiar faces around them as they experience this once-in-a-lifetime event. Dan Lake, 3 News.